What's up guys? So I'm gonna be doing a vlog here. I'm actually in the airport right now, if you couldn't tell. Flying out of McCarran, actually flying to Oakland because I'm going back to Northern California for a few days. I'll be in the Bay Area, so not my obviously normal vlog here in Vegas, but going back to California for a little bit, so I'll take you guys along with me uh, for the ride. And I made it here to Oakland, back in the Bay. Let's get my bag and get moving. Back in the Bay Area, driving up good old Highway 880 here. Going right past Oracle Arena where the Warriors play. They've gotten a lot better since I lived here. <laughs> they got tons of love now. They got something going on up here because now they got CHP going across the Fury trying to slow everyone down. I actually, uh,. <laughs> Pissed off some high patrol officers once years ago in a situation similar to this. You guys remind me, I'll tell you guys a story about it uh, in a later video. At the moment, I am walking around Oakland right now, over uh, kind of by like Laney College. I was trying to find this museum because actually, I got guys, I actually have a little list of like things I want to do um, when I come back and visit the Bay Area here because you know, when I lived here for years. Like, I never did a lot of the tourist stuff. Like, <laughs> I gotta admit, even though I worked in San Francisco for a couple of years, I never went to Alcatraz. Uh, I never even rode a cable car until like, man, I think less than a month before I moved to Vegas just so I had done something like tourist stuff here. I'd been to the, driven across the Golden Gate Bridge but never like drove there, stop, like, you know, got off and like took pictures or walked across. You know, as much of tourist stuff I've never done in this area. And here in Oakland, one of the ones I thought was uh, popular because Oakland is where the uh, Black Panther Party was founded, I think in 66. And I thought there was like an actual museum for it here. Um, I looked online and I thought there was a museum, but it kept coming up like this Oakland Museum of California, Oakland History of California, or something like that. And they were like, no, we don't have a museum here for that. They went to this library and they said, well, sometimes we have an exhibit, but it's only certain times a year. We don't have it right now. And the lady told me to go to this other library it's like library slash museum so maybe i'll go over there and see but right now i'm actually walking by this beautiful lake here this is lake Merritt. if you guys don't know right here in oakland big lake very pretty and uh, i remember meeting a guy years ago had a coffee shop uh somewhere near this lake i don't remember exactly because i didn't come over here a whole lot but this is super pretty, I must admit. Ah, good old Lake Merritt, that is pretty. I know. I at a night time, I remember reading, at least when I lived here, they had um, the service of this business here where, you know, they take you out like in a uh, boat. Good for like couples. Couples do a lot. They take you out in a boat, you know, out in the water. Some guys like rowing the boat or whatever and you and your date are just like gonna relax and drink wine and champagne or whatever and have a good time. So, it was always a good date idea. And then, um, you know, you can see, these may be able to see the hills, the Oakland Hills, way out there. Some of those houses up on the hills. That's, I mean, real estate here is expensive already, and then that real estate is even more expensive. You know, whenever I come to California and I have to drive in this state, I'm always reminded of how happy I am to be in Vegas. You guys see this intersection here I'm at right now in Oakland? So here's the intersection. You guys see a street sign on that light? Nope. You see one on that light? Nope. You see one on that light over there? Nope. You see one over there? Nope. Intersection, no streets, no names of any street you're on. So just turn and hope you're on the right street. Good old California. All right, so made it to another place. The, uh, let's see, the African American Museum and Library at Oakland. So this is the one lady at the other library told me about. So maybe this will have some stuff on the Black Panthers. It was not easy to get here, fighting California traffic and a place to park, but I made it. 
So this is interesting. The first thing you see when you walk in is that this building was a gift of Andrew Carnegie. I just finished a documentary. It's like a four part documentary the other day called The Men Who Built America. And he was one of the key people that played a huge role in the country's development after the Civil War. And it talked about later too in his life how towards the end of it, he donated a ton of money, did a lot of charity donations and the libraries were uh, his forte that he really loved. So up here on the second floor, I don't think there's anybody up here, but I'm still trying to be quiet because it is a library. But this is more like what I was looking for. And unfortunately, this was not that easy to find online. I had that lady at the downtown library not told me, I probably would not have known to come here. She come on the second floor. You look at this artwork up here. They have lots of, there's a video playing through that door right there. She comes through here. So I don't know if this will specifically be about Black Panthers, but I wanted to find something about it because I learned a little about Huey P. Newton when I was in uh, my first few years of college and the role he played. And this is, you know, like the heart of where the Black Panther started. So I thought they had some kind of museum for it. But I'm just going to walk through here, take a look and see what I find. Okay. I killed a couple hours in the... Um, library and museum there that was actually pretty cool so i'm uh, glad that lady just happened to mention it at the other library or else i probably would not have come down here uh, taking a look at it so they had uh some stuff on the black panther party but it was just like you know african-american history in general here particularly in uh the bay area oakland and in california but i'm right outside it here now on uh martin luther king jr drive here in oakland and 12th street or between 12th and 14th. I want to walk into this place here. I drove by, I never knew about this place called Preservation Park. So I want to walk through here. And I was going to try to park in here earlier, but I guess it's only a residence. So people actually, I don't know if these are single family homes you live in, or if these are, you know, like some of the older homes that, you know, get turned into like multi family homes where they rent out uh, individual rooms, but. Wow, <laughs> it definitely looks preserved and beautiful. So, cruising around the Bay Area right now. You see how narrow these streets are here, which is nuts. And then sometimes you get the occasional turkey in your crosswalk. Oh, you got one here and you can see another two more down in the distance. Apparently this one's standing guard. Just paid the uh, four dollar toll to get across the bridge here, and now I am coming into San Francisco right now. So, driving through the city right now, on my way to where I'm going to be staying at. Even uh, hopefully on this camera, you guys can just kind of see how cluttered. <laughs> congested this city is. They got parking on the right side and you have this bike lane over here on the left side that I just saw one guy using. It's about 10.30 at night right now and it's still just like crowded, congested traffic pretty much anywhere you drive. So, settled in here into the city, or into San Francisco and parked going here to Safeway to get some stuff and we had to park on the rooftop because in a city crowded like San Francisco, 
this parking is very limited as you can see so I said let's go park on the roof because you know most parts of the country you don't have to park on the roof of the grocery store you're shopping at coming out of Safeway now it's like I don't know after midnight one in the morning whatever just paid 10 cents per bag because now in California they charge you 10 cents for every bag and you can't get them for free so plastic bags paper bags charge 10 cents they started that when I was living in San Jose years ago now it's a uh, state law so little things like that always remind you when you're back in California Good morning guys. Went to uh, bed last night after running to the grocery store real quickly and uh, starting the day off with a little walk here. Just crossed over Sunset Boulevard. I'm actually right over here by the ocean. You guys hopefully can see. I'll get down there in just a minute. So, so just right over here on 39th Avenue. I'm actually right next to St. Ignatius High School right now. Just when you have high school, you have the ocean right here. We always tell you guys about the Bay Area, or some of you hear about California, and the home prices, now the homes are built. Look at these homes here, which probably look very different than homes in other parts of the country. You guys might be used to these buildings are literally touching each other. One car garage, we got a few bedrooms, couple of bathrooms, and in this like crowded area next to this high school, there are probably a million dollars or more for one of these places <laughs> that's touching each other, no front yard. This area they actually do have some kind of a backyard, but it's nothing like, you know, if you're in a middle part of the country, you're used to having a big front yard and backyard. It's nothing like that, but yeah, probably a million dollars or more for one of these right here in San Francisco. <laughs> well, finally made it to the waters, you guys can see. Made it to the Pacific Ocean. So, walk down here. Walk up all the way from up there. As you guys can maybe you can see all the houses out packed in, just congested they are right over there. And down here, this is more crowded homes all over the place. You just get right here to the ocean. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's not that windy today. I expect it to be a lot windier. And it's a little after 10 a.m. right now, and you guys will notice that there's nobody in the water. <laughs> For those of you not really familiar with California, not all of the coast of California is warm, so especially up here, that water is cold. Right, the closest place you probably go swimming here in the water is maybe Half Moon Bay or down in Santa Cruz. It's not like being in LA or San Diego, so you can come to the water, you can come enjoy it, see how pretty it is, but you are definitely not going to be jumping in there going swimming. on my little walk got my cardio in normally when I wake up I go do like an hour of cardio at the gym but don't uh, really have that open to me at this very moment so I was like screw it just go walk down to the beach come on back got some other errands to run for the day so I have no idea what I'm gonna be filming later but stay tuned well, I definitely remember doing this when I spent all my time I spent a bunch of time in the city years ago Coming down this way, they're gonna all the homes up there. See these businesses, all these big buildings down here. And then you can't really see from here. You can see a little earlier the bay. So I'm sure plenty of you guys have dropped off a rental car before, rented a car when you're out somewhere on vacation. And used to, you know, you go to the airport, you drop it off, it's a nice big open lot, like outside you can do it. Not in San Francisco, <laughs> look how tiny this is. <laughs> Return your car, look how small this garage is here and I gotta drop my car off here. Oh man. Next Aaron, running to Costco in San Francisco. I had to park in this <laughs> parking garage. <laughs> But even when I was in San Jose, the Costco there had a big parking lot. You could actually park in outside this. You got to park in this under, well, not underground garage, but it's like <laughs> it's like parking to go to a big hotel or something just to run an errand at Costco and get groceries. Oh. 
Now we're heading inside Costco. You can see we're on the second story in the garage here. <laughs> Costco here in San Francisco. The only Costco I've ever been to where you have to go up and down a ramp from a parking garage to get into it. So, shopping carts are harder to steer. But, <laughs> good morning, guys. Out on another walk again today. This time I'm walking away from the ocean. So, I had to walk towards the 19th Avenue. We'll get to in just a minute. Cruising around. Look at this quote unquote park San Francisco and <laughs> we just came by. It's like a couple swings, a slide, an empty sandbox, and then one little, I don't know, spring right there you can sit on with some benches. And that is it. <laughs> that's your that's your little neighborhood park here in San Francisco. As I walk through all of these crowded, crowded, crowded homes, my goodness. You better like your neighbor if you're going to live over in this area. <laughs> Not quite sure how well you guys are going to be able to see it, but off in the distance there, you can actually see the uh, Golden Gate, or at least the top part of it. I'm one block away from 19th Avenue right now. And 19th Avenue is the street that uh, takes you to the Golden Gate Bridge. So, I'll walk over here in just a second, decide which way I want to go. So I'm walking up 19th Avenue right now, north towards the Golden Gate, and I see these buildings here. The only thing along the street here that looks newer <laughs> are these right here. Everything else you can see, most probably look this way, it looks much older. I mean, it's kind of an older city. But looking at these, there are probably a couple bedrooms, a couple bathrooms, and probably a few thousand dollars a month in rent. <laughs> Uh, so, as luck would have it, I'm walking by to catch one lady coming out with uh, with her baby in this co uh, these condos that I just walked by, and I just happened to stop and ask her, like, oh, hey, you live in these condos? She said, like, yeah. And uh, I said, they look like they're newer. She goes, well, they've been here since the 90s. And I said, wow, I said, they look new compared to like everything else around here. And uh, I said, these like two bed, two bath? And she goes, well, there's two bed, two bath, and like there's, some, I guess, three bed two bath or three bed, three bath or something. I was like, well, how much is the rent over here? <laughs> she goes, well, it depends on when your lease started. <laughs> but she goes, between $3,000 and $6,000 a month. So they have a two bed, two bath. They're paying $4,000 a month to be in that. It's like, oh my gosh. To be in that condo on arguably the busiest street in all of San Francisco. Wow. And also guys, this is how you park your car in San Francisco in certain parts like this. See those cars over there? Up actually on the sidewalk. Like you have here, this car up on the sidewalk. This car halfway onto the sidewalk. You know, and space is only so available, you gotta do what you can. <laughs> well, this part is crazy, look at this. Like look how big this driveway is. This entryway to the driveway. Look like they're just big enough for one car. Yet yeah, this here is supposed to be like a two car garage. Kind of actually surprised to see any like two car garages over here. But these places are so old, it's like you could maybe fit two Volkswagen Beetles inside, and that's about it. <laughs> Even most sedans, most people are parking on the sidewalk, like couldn't even fit inside one of these garages. Uh, so, I'm probably gonna stop here and uh, turn back, but you guys can see over there. All those trees, big green trees coming up right there. That's actually the um, beginning of Golden Gate Park. It's a big park over here on the west side of uh, San Francisco. Just noticed too today, just kind of hit me that the weather over here now is more overcast. Yesterday it was nice and clear and sunny, which is a little bit more rare on this part of San Francisco. This area here is way more prone to be overcast and usually doesn't get quite as much sun as other parts of uh, the city. This is wonderful California driving. Three lane road, someone just 
increase their fourth lane, doesn't signal, and it just, you know, works their way in just for the fuck of it. Welcome to California. Uh, well, as you guys can see, made it back to McCarran International Airport here. It was way busier here than it was in Oakland. But then again, we get more tourists, right? So that was a cool trip. And so it was fun to go back, but as always, I'm always happy to be back here in Vegas. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it for this video. I'm Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.